What is up, everyone? So, uh, long and short, we're going, or we, yeah, sure, why not? I, I'm going to start a batch of lion's mane, and so I'm going to kick out some uh, grain spawn using rye berries. Now, I've, maybe someone has already shown this by now, but however, I'm just going to walk through my specific process simply using Instant Pot because, well, I've seen people uh, like, all right, well, you soak them overnight, then you boil them for some period of time. Um, you know what? I don't, I'm not going to mess with that. I've, I've done this with the Instant Pot just straight in a uh, number of times. It works great. Um, so similarly, I also use this for sterilization of the spawn. But um, I'm basically just going to get this done with tonight and get them drained and dried and uh, more or less uh, some prep work for the actual sterilization of the grains in the jars. So more or less, I just grabbed a, you know, a couple cups of uh, the rye berries, tossed them in there, tossed in enough water to cover them, probably about an inch above the line or whatever that is in metric, about 25 millimeters. Um, I am going to toss in some gypsum. I don't know, about a teaspoon, five milliliters. If you want, it may or may not matter. And then more or less, yeah, I'm just going to heat it up, pressure cook. 13 minutes i've done 13 i've done i've done to 15 minutes honestly i really don't think there's that big of a difference um but here we go yeah we're going to take a little break and once it hits that 30 minute countdown going to do a fast release and then that's going to be it we're going to drain them set them out to dry and then we'll basically be ready for the next step all right going to take a little cut all right, there it was, 13 minutes, fast release. Spicy. Whew. hot. Ugh. All right, and there we go. Um, honestly, pretty much perfectly cooked. We got, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe like you know, a couple of kernels that have popped, but otherwise, one, I don't know if that's necessarily a problem, but two, um, once again, this literally took like two minutes of my time to pre-rinse the grain. That is one thing I did. That had, had some dust on it. Uh, I don't know if you actually need to do that, but... Uh, Beyond that, just, you know, tossing it in, hit and go, and then coming back. Um, literally, yeah, there's pretty much nothing to this. And now I'm just going to let these things dry a little bit. And when they're cool, we're just going to put them in jars. Thanks a lot.